precious people and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jen Gerard. I am the president and CEO of Gerard Cosmetics and this channel is monetized for charity, which means that by viewing my videos, leaving a little comment, sharing the videos, interacting, telling your friends about the channel, you are helping two awesome charities in my neighborhood. One is the Domestic Violence Center of Santa Clarita and the other is Rescues on the Runway. So welcome. Uh, we're just gonna jump right in this morning. I am actually getting ready for church and I have to say, I'm gonna give a little shout out to Sephora because I ordered these palettes like three minutes after they launched. Um, they launched at midnight on Sephora's website. I think it was Wednesday night and they arrived Friday morning. Friday morning. Uh, unfortunately, I was on my way to San Diego for a meet and greet with Rich Lux and <laughs> I did not even get to open the box, but they did come overnight, which is rather impressive. So, um, I got both new Norvina palettes. I already have the volume one and I have to say I've used it. I haven't used it on camera. I've just used it once, but I did really like this one and um, the pigmentation is there. The colors are unique enough. And I mean, I have so many eyeshadow palettes in my collection that, you know, at this point I'm trying to look for things that have um, colors and stuff that I don't already have repeated, you know, 4 million times. So <laughs> um, this is the Norvina two. And you guys know that I love me some yellow, so um, we're definitely gonna play with this one today. I'm gonna try not to dip into three because I'm thinking that people are probably gonna buy one or the other, and I don't want you to feel compelled that you need to buy two because we wanna be a budget-friendly channel here, and um, you know, if we like it, but I'm not gonna lie, I may dip into this one once or twice, don't shoot me, because you guys know I do this stuff on the fly. <laughs> You know, that's just what it is. So I'm thinking that we are going to start with a coming soon from Drawer Cosmetics. If you guys watch my channel, you've seen this before. It is the eye concealer base coming soon. And let me just grab me a brush. So I apologize that I have been a little bit absent the last week and a half. You guys, I have been so sick. I had this thing where like, I just felt so tired. Like, I don't know if you've ever taken um, Benadryl, but that's what I felt like. I felt like I had taken Benadryl. Like it just makes you feel like heavy in your chest and stuff like that. And I've had some personal things going on that I've been dealing with too. So that hasn't helped. And anyways, I'm glad to be back with you. Um, so I did not get a video up on Thursday. Like I've been trying, I've been trying really hard to upload on Thursdays and Sundays. I don't want to like put that in stone just yet until I get into the rhythm of doing it all the time because you know guys um I don't want you guys to get mad at me if uh I don't okay we've got our base down I have started with this green greenish yellow color up here I'm actually mis mixing A2 and B1 now. And I'm using this um, Kevin Aquan brush. I love this for doing like the base colors. It just lays them down so nicely. Okay. Okay. I added some tape now, and now I'm thinking I am going to go into this beautiful blue right here and put that in the crease. So this is B5. This is really nice. I like this color. It reminds me a lot of, if you watched my um, Menagerie video with the Whale Song palette, it reminds me a lot of the first blue, although I have to say that the Menagerie palette, the pigment blew me away. This one, it isn't, but I think it's building up really nice, so I'm not upset with it. Okay, now we are going to blend. I'm just going to grab a Smith brush and blend that a little. I love how that's becoming like an aqua there. Ooh, I love some aqua colors. Does anybody else love aqua colors? Or is it just me? I 
I added some tape to give us some nice clean lines. Okay, now I am thinking we are gonna go into this nice deep blue. That is B4. This blue is giving me hella 80s vibes, I'm not gonna lie. And you guys know I love me some 80s. Is anybody else watching American Horror Story? I have to say, like, I've only seen one um, full season of it. I tried to watch the Apocalypse one, but it just, to be honest, it just kind of grossed me out, and I couldn't, um, I couldn't finish watching it. I know I'll probably get unfriended by a lot of people for saying that, but um, the only one I've ever watched all the way through was the Roanoke one. My friend Tofi made me watch it, and um, I did really enjoy that one. I love Cuba Gooding Jr. I think he's amazing. And um, I have mutual friends with Angela Bassett and she's just an awesome lady. So always, you know, exciting to support good people. Okay, I am going to go into B3 right here and just lay that over the top of the edge. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for the last two colors because that will, oh, let's get that nice. Make it blend in real good. Okay. Now we're just gonna take everything we have going on. I may add a little bit of yellow up at the top. Why not, right? You live only once. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do just um, A2 by itself and just put that up too. Why not, right? As I said before, you live once. I have to say, these shadows are nice. The, I mean, what I really get annoyed by is when you use colorful shadows and they seem to come off in chunks. Um, the B1 did that the tiniest little bit when I first put it down, but then it blended out really nice. Okay, now we are going to start deepening up the outside. So I think I'm gonna use this nice, like kind of cobalty violet color, C3, and start to deepen up the edge. Sorry people, I had a hot flash. And you know, I'm sure a few of you watching can sympathize. <laughs> we have a hot flash, you're like, I gotta get out of here right now. So I had to go turn on the air. So anyways, I have been watching the AHS 1984. This color definitely has some kick up in the pan. No problem. I love that purpley. Um, I am all about anything 1980s. I am a child of the 80s. I was born in 1968. I, you know, when I was 14, all the really cool 80s music started coming out and stuff like that. So I am just an 80s lover. And I feel like, you know, they should have just stopped making music after the 80s, honestly, because you really shouldn't try to mess with perfection, right? Okay, now we are going to go into E5, which is the black. I'm so glad this um, this palette has a black. And you guys, don't let me bypass the fact that it has a giant mirror because um, when I go to put a shadow on my lash line, I always have to pull up a mirror. And it's nice to have one that I can use. So um, I'm dipping into the black, gonna spray it with Slay All Day, and we're just gonna make some homemade eyeliner here. How do you feel about that? This is one of my little over 40 tricks because as you get older, you know, eyeliner starts to look all crinkly around the lid and it just shows your age and it looks messy. So when you use shadow, you can get it nice and crisp. And I have to say, I am not usually a fan of the black in the Anastasia palettes. I don't dislike them, but I just would not use it in a look because they're not black enough. This one is pretty black, I have to say. Excuse me, I had a little hanger on there. Okay. I think we need a little bit of, should we do color or shimmer? Color or shimmer? Um, let's do, let's do shimmer. What the heck? We'll do this C1 over here. 
And I'm gonna get a nice flat brush. This one I think I got in a boxy charm. That's fine. It's amazing how much a little setting spray will do when you want to deepen up a color. Okay, we can go ahead and blend now. Okay, I feel like I have a vacation spot over here. You ever paint your walls and you have a vacation spot? <laughs> Where the paint just took a little vacation, so. Ooh, got an eyelash, make a wish. Okay, so good. So now I'm going to just make like something to bring the colors together. So I'm going to use this E3. When uh, Norvina first said that she was doing the numbers, I was like, oh, I'm not going to like that. But honestly, now that I'm using the palette, I actually do like it. First of all, I'm old and it is not always easy to read the colors. So it does kind of alleviate that. I'm just touching up the black where I went over it with the shimmer. Now we can take off our tape and I'm gonna get the rest of my face on and then I will come back. Time for a little inner corner action. So I'm thinking we will use this bright yellow D4 and and spray that. Oh. You guys know I love the yellow inner corner. This one isn't happening. I'm not gonna hold it against it because I very rarely like the like the yellows in the palettes for inner corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my mermaid scale, the shade bell. Yeah, that's what we were looking for. Okay, <laughs> now I'm gonna take that beautiful 80s blue and smudge that up under the eye. And again, spray my brush. Now I'm adding back a little bit of the black just to the very outer corner. And I'm gonna take a little bit of B3 and just add that in to get a little bit of dimension. Okay, I'm gonna put some lashes on and finish everything up and then I will be right back. Okay, so here is the finished look. Well, I am all matchy matchy. I didn't even, I did not plan this, but my shirt matches my nails, matches my eyes. Hey, it's going to be a good day. So if you are sitting there and you are wondering, something's missing. What's missing? Why hasn't Yogi made a cameo this morning? <laughs> it is because it is Sunday morning and he is over in Julia's room uh, doing snuggles. That's his Auntie Gran and her dog is his girlfriend and, you know, they just have their special little bond, so they're over there doing their thing, and that's why you haven't seen him today, but I'm sure he will be back in the next video. So, um, 
all in all, I do like this palette. I love the colors. Um, I think you can do a lot of different kinds of looks with this palette. Um, it doesn't bother me that the inner corner wasn't popping enough because that's really normal. I like a super popping inner corner and uh, yeah, that didn't work. Doesn't bother me, doesn't offend me. <laughs> and it is heavy to mattes, which um, I would tend to like just being, hey, I matched the palette too. <laughs> just being that, uh, that this palette is heavy to mattes. I'm a little bit older and you know, so shimmers gotta be a little careful with those, I'm not trying to like show off the wrinkles on my eyelids. So you know how it is. Um, at any rate, I do like this palette. I am excited to work with it. You guys will need to let me know um, down in the comments if you would like to see a look with this. This palette is just super duper fall. Um, it just screams fall to me and fall but fun. <laughs> and I think we could do something really fun with it, but I will leave it up to you. Also down in the comments, tell me what is your favorite thing from the eighties? Um, I am thoroughly enjoying the American Horror Story 1984. And, uh, I want to hear what you guys love from the eighties, whether it's a song or a group or, um, a historical event, whatever it is, let me know your television show. Um, let's talk all things eighties down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so that you'll know whenever I upload a video. Leave a little comment if you can and, uh, and don't forget to like. So I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I am off to church and just want to say I love you all so much and I will be seeing you very, very soon. Bye!